The first time I was very starstruck, probably seeing Serena for the first time. I said how much I loved her in an interview and then the tournament just like set up this, like basically a fan meeting <laughs> for me. She came and hugged me and I was like, oh, this is awesome. Have you guys kept in touch at all since? Um, actually, she, it's not like she gave me her number when I was her number one fan. <laughs> that would be kind of creepy. Hi Team Vogue, this is Naomi Osaka and today I'm going to be sharing some of my firsts with you. First person I followed on Instagram, it's a tree of Beyonce, Rihanna, Nicki Minaj. Shh, don't tell anyone, but I have burner accounts and I follow them on my burner accounts too, so yeah. They're like the holy, the holy trinity. First person that followed me on Instagram? Probably my sister. <laughs> My first crush? Probably Danny Phantom. <laughs> I don't really want to talk about it, but honestly, okay, everyone that's watched Danny Phantom that was younger had a crush on Danny Phantom. It's not a secret, okay? <laughs> okay, the first time that I picked up a tennis racket was when I was three which is according to my dad, um, and I think that's accurate because there is a picture of me um, when I was li very little holding a tennis racket. My first set of tennis shoes were Nikes, I think, which is great because <laughs> team just do it. The first professional tennis match I ever watched it was definitely the US Open because I was living in New York before. I want to say either Agassi or Serena and Venus. I don't know which one though. The first professional tennis match I've ever competed was in Jamaica. I haven't been to Jamaica since then. Um, I really want to, but yeah, I lost that match, so I didn't really have the greatest memories. The first thing I think of in the morning is probably what time is it and can I get away with sleeping for longer? My first word was Probably mama um, or dada, I don't know. I don't want to get in trouble with any of my parents. It was both at the same time. Um, my first pet was um, my current dog. Or she's a forever puppy. Her name's Panda, but we call her Pampy. And she's a mini Australian Shepherd and she's super cute, but she's also kind of fat, but don't tell my mom I said that. My first CD, like one that I bought, probably Amanda Palmer, the Dresden Dolls. My first job was the one I signed up for when I was three years old and I'm still grinding. <laughs> um, tennis player. I don't know if that counts as a job job, but this is what I'm out here doing. Um, my first car was a Nissan GTR. It's the one that I'm driving right now. And she's my baby and I love her. I don't drive her every day because I don't leave the house. You're not supposed to leave the house right now. Ooh. <laughs> Probably Rain Bones. That's the one I've just been using forever. It's my gamer tag, mostly. I've been playing Minecraft a lot during quarantine, um, but I've been playing Overwatch, Skyrim. I like very open world type games. My first best friend was a girl named Jasmine. I know her last name, but I don't think she would want me to like put her out like that. In elementary school in Alden Terrace in New York. I remember her very much because I was really sad to leave because um, I moved to Florida to play tennis. When was the last time you talked to her? The day before I left to Florida <laughs> because I didn't have an email. So we could never keep in touch, but she remains in my heart. My first celebrity crush was... I think Rihanna, like, I don't know. No guy has ever given me like that. Wow, look at, look at this amazing piece of art. Like whenever she posts an Instagram guy, you know, my first celebrity crush is my boyfriend. Let's just go with that. Beautiful. <laughs> my first movie that I ever saw in a theater, probably Harry Potter. I want to say, like the first one. I remember watching or begging my dad to um, let us watch Aquamarine when it came out. That was a very vivid memory for me for some reason. My first date was <laughs> last year. <laughs> um, your girl doesn't get out much. 
I don't know, we were just hanging out. I don't even know if he considered it a date, to be honest. I don't want to be over here like I'm the only one calling it a date. Maybe it was just a hangout. My first hangout was at the Clippers game. <laughs> Ooh, this is like exposing myself. My first kiss was um, from my mom when I was little. <laughs> my first heartbreak was when I was like six. It was right after I watched the live action Peter Pan and I was waiting by the window and he never came. And from then on, I just didn't trust anybody. <laughs> The first time I was ever really embarrassed. When I was in elementary school, I really needed to use a bathroom. <laughs> Why am I saying this? And you know how like the teachers always think you're lying? Well, I wasn't lying, okay? And that's all I have to say. If you can't put two and two together about that, I wasn't lying. My first major disappointment? How big is major? I don't know, when my mom said there was food at home and there wasn't food at home. For me, like, food was a very big part of my childhood. I ran to the fridge so excited and there was nothing in there. And it was just sad. Especially since, like, you pass, like, so much fast food restaurants on the way home. The first song that I memorized all the words to. Probably Moment for Life by Nicki Minaj. In this very moment, I'm king. In this very moment, I slay Goliath with a sling. Okay, I'm done. The first time I ever realized I was famous was never because I don't know what that means. I'm just out here living my life. It's the first time I was very starstruck. Probably seeing Serena for the first time. Uh, I was young, I was like 16 back then. I said, how much I loved her in an interview and then the tournament just like set up this like basically a fan meeting <laughs> for me because I was like ah, I love her and she's the reason why I got into tennis and then the tournament was super nice and then I was a fan in the fan meeting and then she came and hugged me and I was like oh this is awesome my first big splurge was on I don't really like buying things for myself like that. I like to buy gifts for my mom because she's been working ever since I was really young and I just like to like give back to her a lot. First thing I would do if I had a billion dollars, probably help my dad build his school in Haiti. He's like really into it and they're building tennis courts and stuff. So I don't know, I just feel like it's really cute when I see all the pictures of the kids playing tennis. But that's also like a billion dollars is a lot of money, huh? Um, I don't know. I would have to come back to you with a PowerPoint presentation. Thank you so much, Teen Vogue. I hope you enjoyed my first and I hope you learned a little bit about me.